Hi everyone, I'm Heidi and we are in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen sponsored by T-Set and I happen to have Julie here from T-Set as well as Chef Val from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thank you guys for joining me yeah. today. Very quickly, tell us a little bit about Shape Your Future and T-Set. Yeah, so Shape Your Future is a program that we have that helps families eat better, move more, and be tobacco free. We know there's lots of room for improvement in Oklahoma in those areas and especially right now as we're heading into some warmer months, you mm -hmm. know, you can get active, have fresh fruits and vegetables. So we have a website, shapeyourfutureok.com, okay. has resources for physical activity, healthy recipes, things you can do with your kiddos to be active and moving. It's just a great resource for folks to look for ways to infuse healthy habits into their life. Yeah, it sounds great because it just gives them just different options of things, mm -hmm. little things they can do. Easy things. And I know you were speaking of fruits, so I'm bringing it on over to Chef Val. Tell us about fruit and what we're doing today. So today I just thought that I would talk a little bit about breaking down pineapple because okay. one of the barriers, sometimes one of the barriers is actually breaking down fruit to be able to eat it easily. And so you can buy canned pineapple and that's great. And if you do, be sure and buy the one that's in water, not syrup. Okay. But And you can buy it already cut up and that's great, but it is a lot more expensive. So this pineapple costs $2 and it can feed a, a big family for a couple of days. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the end off of it and then we're going to cut the top off of it. See this is good because I just start chopping away so this is a good tip. Yeah. And then you're going to peel out off that outer layer all the way around. This pineapple is maybe not quite there. Try to get most of the little brown specks off. Okay. Very, I'm sorry, very quickly, is there a way to know a good pineapple versus maybe not so good? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, choose one. So one, if you choose one that's totally green, it will ripen on your counter in a few days. Okay. And if you choose one that is already almost all the way brown, so if you look at this one, so it's kind of a little bit brown and turning yellow when it gets to be like that most of the way up, it's um, a good way to tell. And then also you can just smell the pineapple and know um, that it's ripe. Okay. okay, so we're gonna get the little scraps off of here. You did that much neater than I do. I know, I was thinking that too. <laughs> <laughs> nice sharp knife is important. Okay, so you can cut it in half and then cut it in quarters and then um, you can do this one of two ways. So you could actually make an angled cut toward the board this way. Okay. Which makes sense because I know the goal is obviously to get the core. And then, you know, you're always trying to cut away from your hands. Okay, yes. So that's, or toward the board. Okay, so we'll get, whoops, we're just flying right, pineapple. It's just flying around, it's very excited. Yes, yes. And, or you could um, go ahead and stand this up mm -hmm. and cut the core out this way. Okay. Oh. Either way. And, and assume, you, sorry again, I'm just, I'm very interested. <laughs> Is there a difference, like, does it matter how close to the core, what does that do? So the core is very hard. Um, and it's not going to ripen at the same rate. I mean, okay. although it will eventually ripen, it just the flesh might um, be a little too ripe by that point. Uh. Um, but it's for serving, this mm -hmm. is great with a little sprinkle of salt and chili powder, light on the salt, of course. Fun. But I love a little bit of lemon, excuse me, lime zest and lime mm -hmm. juice squeezed over it. And even if your pineapple maybe is not quite sweet enough, a drizzle of honey, and I mean like a teaspoon for this much. Oh my goodness, sounds yes. amazing. I definitely appreciate learning this personally for myself as well as everybody else. So if you are looking for more information, go ahead and head to our website, kjrh.com.